Native American Flute Music Podcast, Season 2, Episode 21. Welcome to the Native American Flute Music Audio Podcast, second season, episode 21 already. There's a first season, and there's also a series of podcasts called Dream Presence. Today, we're going to tell a story using music from Seventh Dimension. Unattached is the name of the track. We're going to tell a story. It is the story of Lopeha and how he came to be. What he is today. The mystic found his center. He was sitting alone on a rock, overlooking a thousand foot drop on the mountainside. He was certain that his center was here, in this place, on this mountain. He stood and he walked down the mountain. As he walked, it seemed like the center he had found was slowly disappearing as he moved toward the city. Gone. Lopea had been doing this for many, many years. Without success, he would go to the mountaintop, he would go to the pond, he would go to the lake. But everywhere he went, he would find his center, but then return home and lose it. He was certain it had to do with the city, with his life there. So certain, in fact, that he tried moving to the country. There, in peaceful bliss, he thought, I will be at my center at all times. He moved to the country, found his center. The next day, he woke, and it was gone. He looked for it again. He had to walk into the woods this time. He found a little of it, and he came back home, and it was gone. So he spent long hours sitting in the woods, sitting by the campfire. But now he was unable to bring it back. He could not find his center anymore. Frustrated and filled with fear, he moved back to the city. And there he joined the ranks of the fearful and forgot completely about finding his center. Lopeja got a job working for the bus company. He was in dispatch. He kept the buses running smoothly. He was very busy all day long. At the end of his day, he would go home and sit in his apartment and watch movies. Movies, more movies. After about a year of this, it got tiresome. He became bored. So he sought something else on the way home. He stopped at a bar, had a few drinks, tried to strike up some friendships. This turned into a fiasco as he found himself one night in jail from being drunk and disorderly. Lopeja was so far from his center now, he didn't even know where to begin. But there he was, in a jail cell, sitting on a cold, hard cement bench, looking at the cement block wall. He looked long and hard at the wall and asked himself, how did I get here? What happened? And inside of him, was the tiniest spark of willingness, willingness to do something. But what? What indeed? 
as he walked from the jail at five in the morning. It was dark, it was cold. The puddles were frozen over with ice. He took one step in front of the other and the word trust came into his mind. He took a step and thought trust. He took another step and thought trust. One step after another, trust, trust, trust. That's all, just trust. When he got back to his apartment, he sat in a chair, quietly contemplating this word trust. Thoughts filled him. He didn't trust himself. He didn't trust others. He didn't trust life, the paths he were, was going on. He didn't trust anything at all, actually. Surely he didn't trust his own inherent ability. He felt he wasn't even trustworthy. Sure, he did his job well, and people could count on him. But inside, he constantly had doubts. Doubts, doubts, fears, doubts and fears. Where, oh, where was hope? Where was love? Where was peace? Where was anything besides this cacophony of misery? The phone rang. He picked it up to hear a voice say, Son, lo, I am ever with you always. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Hello? Who is this? And he took a breath, sank into the chair, and thought, trust, Lopeha. Trust, Lopeha. Trust, Lopeha. Lopeha was sleeping. He was dreaming. Ah, the dream. He dreamed of a white wolf in the snow, traveling through the forest in a blizzard, walking, then running, then barking, wagging its tail, then stopping and growling, then running, barking, howling, then it stopped, the snow stopped, the full moon was bright in the sky, and he saw the silhouette of the white wolf now looking black against the moon, howling, and he seemed to be howling, it is I, it is I, it is I, all is well. Lopeha awoke to see the face of a large dog in front of him. Standing with the dog holding the leash was a policeman. The policeman said, Are you okay, sir? Sir, are you okay? Lopeha smiled, looked at the policeman and said, Oh yes, I'm fine. What seems to be the matter? The officer said, You've been missing for seven days. You haven't been to work. Your landlady called and thought that maybe you had died in your apartment. Wow. Seven days. Amazing. Seven days. And I feel great. Nonetheless, let's get you down to the emergency room and have you checked over. He went through emergency. They found him physically to be in perfect health.
So he had an interview with the hospital social worker. The social worker seemed concerned and recommended him to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist also seemed concerned and recommended inpatient care. So Lopeha went into care. There, he saw many people that were confused and full of fear. He also saw his fellow patients, most of whom seemed quite blissful in their state. He wondered and pondered the meaning of life. Why is he here now? What is he here for? What are all these other people here for? Why are they here? Why are the doctors doctors and the nurses nurses? Why are the patients patients? Why is the schizophrenic a schizophrenic? Then there was the center. The spark, the tone, the music of harmony. He had no choice in all of that free time between therapy sessions and recreational activities, eating and sleeping, but to sit. And as he sat, the tones, the sweet tones of music, of harmony, welled up inside of him. Love. Peace. Harmony. He realized his name was Love, Peace, and Harmony. It was the first two letters of love, the first two letters of peace, and the first two letters of harmony. Where had he gotten such a name? Who was thinking what when he was named? Why did his parents call him Lopeha? He thought it was his Native American heritage and it had some meaning that he never learned. But that was all the meaning it had. Love, peace, and harmony. Him. He. He. I. I am. I am love, peace, and harmony. I am here now. I am. And I can trust this. The fear, he realized, had left him. The confusion, he realized, had left him. He didn't know when it left, but it was gone. And he was smiling inside. And as he smiled inside, a light seemed to pour forth out of him, like a glow all around him. And it spread all throughout the room and throughout the hospital. And he looked around, and he saw the patients smiling, and he saw the staff smiling. Inside, he saw their smiles. Whether or not they were smiling on the outside or not didn't matter. He saw the love, peace, and harmony that was inherent in each and every one of them. On this he built the foundation of the rest of his life.
That was Sikinis Dance from Seventh Dimension. You've been listening to part of the story of Lopeha, with the background music provided by the track Sailing Flute, followed by the track Winter Wind, both from Seventh Dimension as well. Now I'd like to share with you my insides. <laughs> if you go inside of me and pull it all out, what you'll see is a mixture of nuts and berries and raisins and all kinds of dried fruits. You'll see my trail mix. And this is my trail mix. This is my trail
This is mine, I've shared it, I've shared it, and I've shared it, and I've shared it, and I've shared it, and it's all the same, maybe I am, and the most trail mix is all one. Falling Waters, from the album Medicine, by Bill Webb. And now another song from Medicine, For Your Healing. The medicine is here. The medicine
The medicine is here from medicine. And now, Leaves Don't Worry from World Flute Music. Uh, You've been listening to the Native American Flute Music Podcast, Season 2, Episode 21. More at BillWebMusic.com, that's two Bs in web, or subscribe to this podcast so you can get it every Wednesday at 7 p.m. when it comes out. New one every week at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud. Go ahead and listen and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the story today of how Lopeha came to be what Lopeha is today. A little story with background music provided by music from my album, Seventh Dimension. You also heard music from Medicine, music from World Flute Music. I encourage you to invent your own story about how love, peace, and harmony can come to you or has come to you in your life. It doesn't have to be dramatic or fantastic. It can be plain and simple like the story I told today. And it doesn't have to have background music, but if you need some, I've got some. At any rate, it's your story. Tell it every day. Write it down. Try writing it down at least once. It's fun, it's easy, and it's provocative. (laughs) Meantime, we are love, peace, and harmony. This is all I see in you. Love, peace, harmony, I am, this, we are, all is. I love you all.